What does Children's Specialized Hospital do best? I think what Children's does best is the way we literally wrap our arms around the families and the patients that we treat. We do everything we can um, to help make their world better and to help their child get better. It's really about us embedding ourselves in your lives to help your child reach their maximum potential. Everything we do, we do with care. We care. The staff are so good with the children and they react and they're happy. Absolutely the best quality care possible for the kids. They give hope to people who come through the doors. It's more the one-on-one -on -one with both staff and with families and it's that personal care that we've provided that I think has made us the institution that we are. Love, point blank. I think Children's Special High Hospital love everything that they do. The energy and the warmth and the compassion that the therapist and the nurses bring to the work here. They took care of not only Ariana, they took care of us, the whole family. It positions children and families to aim as high as they can, to achieve what they can, and we always used to say making the most of what is left, not what is lost. There is something about the culture of children's that it's about the people, about the patient, and we have fun doing it. What impact has Children's Specialized Hospital had on your life? In the hospital, I wanted to become a snowboarder, and they fully accepted that, and everything we did was like, all right, you gotta go work out if you wanna become a snowboarder, and they just helped the dream become a reality. In 2014, I was nominated a part of the U.S. Paralympic team for snowboarding and was able to go to Sochi, Russia and represent the U.S. This is where we have hope, where she starts, she started crawling, she started taking independent steps. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I do uh, if it hadn't been for them. I believe that with Children's Specialized Help, I've gotten the tools to live a successful life. I think it's made me a better person. You know, all around. And at the end of the day, when you see one of them get up and walk out the door, it's just so encouraging the work that's done at this hospital. Uh, children's made it very easy to have a severely disabled daughter and still have uh, a family that could completely interact. When you get to come to work every day and you get to see children who come into the hospital in a coma and you get to see them walk out on their own or, or in their new wheelchairs to go out on their own, very often under their own power, to know that they have such a bright future ahead of them and to know that in some small way we played a part of that, I'm not sure how it gets any better. What would you like to say about Children's Specialized Hospital? Continue to do what you do, continue growth, continue taking care of our patients that we see and just love one another. I think that the hospital is doing a great job and I think that if we can continue, everyone has the same goal of concentrating on the kids and what we can do for them, we should do okay. I would have to say thank you for everything that you have done for 125 years. Um, you have made miracles and keep doing what you're doing because it's amazing. The work we do is incredibly important. When you think of the impact that it has on children, their families, their lives, as hard as we work, I want to make sure that we spend as much time celebrating the achievements that we have, but also celebrating the lives of the children that we've been able to help along the way. I'm just very grateful for the opportunity to serve. And uh, I hope others are inspired, as I have been, to continue the good job that's being done here. What one word describes Children's Specialized Hospital? Great. Compassion. Unique. Innovative. Home. Amazing. Caring. Compassion. Innovation. Heavenly. Caring. Community. Dedication. Awesome. Home. Loving. Caring. Amazing. Devoted. What's your favorite memory of Children's Specialized Hospital? My favorite memory of Children's Specialized Hospital was actually when I wasn't there. Um, I had left to go take a shower, and she had been in the hospital, I guess there, she had been there probably about two and a half weeks and there was talk of removing her trach. Now mind you, she had been in the, uh, the ICU for six weeks. She had come there for two weeks. I hadn't heard her voice. So, uh, <laughs> she called me and, uh, I got to hear her voice for the first time. My daughter was very, very floppy. She had no muscle tone at all. She couldn't hold her own head. 
at all. We had her sitting in a laundry basket, a plain old rectangular laundry basket. She was in there with balloons tied on one end, and lo and behold, there she was sitting, holding her head. Well, you know, tears flood even now, and that's still one of my favorite um, pictures of her. She had been in the hospital. She came in an ambulance here. She then went into long-term care, and she, so she was out inside her entire life. So eight weeks, always inside. She went out into the garden, and I can still remember her little face with just the smile and her eyes like looking up. And I said, she loves it outdoors. This being outside was so magical to her and to us because she just loved it and she just came to life. When they had the, uh, that sunroom on the side and there was, we, at the end of the sunroom there was a uh, glass, there was maybe a piece of, out of it. And I used to stick my hand through there and touch my brothers and sisters because they weren't allowed to come in, just my father and mother. So they'd wait out by the car, and, but they were, I could stick my hand out and touch them, and I thought that was a big deal. When I really felt like, all right, this is it, she's, you know, we're gonna get her to walk someday, was seeing her in the pool. Um, and she just, she, well, she's always loved the water. And then seeing her in the pool and just starting to explore. She was coming out of her shell. She was coming out of the trauma of all the surgeries and the chemo and everything and uh, the first time she cruised ever in her life because even before um, the, the biopsy she, she wasn't cruising it. So the first time she cruised was actually in the swimming pool. Uh, the first time she took an independent step, albeit a little wobbly, was in the swimming pool. Um, first time she started reaching for things, it, the first time she held her neck up because uh, the tumor and the biopsy were in the ne her neck and uh, her upper back. So the first time she was holding up and looking up. So I think, I mean, there's so many other memories, but that's where I can pinpoint that I felt like just a little relief start washing over me that we're gonna get her to, to walk and to do the things that she should be doing. I would say my favorite was uh, move-in day here in New Brunswick. Um, we had, you know, our entire staff and entire team just so fired up about this new facility and watching the, the children and the families move in and this incredible volunteer staff from PSE and G was here and they had kits for the kids and suitcases and um, just the way the whole team came together and flawlessly moved all those children from mountainside to here it was just it was a very proud and incredible day. What one word would you use to describe the future of Children's Specialized Hospital? More. Continue. Innovation. Grow. Evolution. Technology. Growth. Unbridled success. It's hard to put it in a word. It's a concept. What would you like to say to Children's Specialized Hospital in celebration of their 125th anniversary? I just would like to encourage us all to take a moment sometime during this year and maybe multiple times to really just take a look back and say thank you. Um, for children specialized, for how it's affected our lives and so many children's lives. Um, and then take another moment to really think about uh, what's possible in the next 125 years. I would say thank you to Children Specialized for what it's done for me personally in terms of the gift of my family. I would thank them for the gift of having the chance to serve so many children. I'd say thank you for the opportunity to be a part of incredible growth over the last decade and a half that we've um, been doing this together and I would just be as encouraging as possible about seizing the day to continue to serve more and more families and to help people in need who may not know where to turn for help and here we are. We are going to continue to save children's lives that we could never have imagined and give them a full life and that I hope during our journey of the next 125 years that we never stop trying to make a difference in those kids' lives. I think that children should be really proud of what they've come from and what they've become. And I've only been able to be a part of it for a short time. And there's a pride that I have being part of this team. During this time of celebration, I would like to thank the staff for everything that they do for the children day in and day out, as well as for the families, what they do to support the families. Thanks to everybody those that have worked in the past, those that are currently working, 
those that are going to work in the future, thanks for all the great work you do. It's wonderful to be able to be here at this moment to celebrate the 125th. In my own life, Children's has been part of it for almost 42 years. And I feel very, very blessed that I've been able to continue that relationship over such a long time. Yay!